Today I'm going to give you three different kinds of your maths tricks that you can use to amaze your friends and family. At the same time, this is going to be so much helpful to you in your academic maths as well. And by doing this, you'll be able to do your calculations faster than calculator. Even some of the calculations you can do in a second, guys. So let's get started with the first trick. So the very first trick is how to find out 11 square, 111 square, or 1000. 111 square just in one second so whenever you are finding out the square of 11 or 111 square is very first thing what you can do is you can count how many ones so 11 square so you do have two ones so you can put out like one and the next number is two you can go up to two then you can get down so then again one so one two one is your answer if you're finding out the square of 111 square. So how many ones? Three ones. One, one, one. So you can go with one, two, and three. Then you can go back. So two and one. So 111 square is one, two, three, two, one. If you're finding out 1111 square, as you do know now, there are four ones. So you can do one, two, three, four, then get down. Three, two, one. So it does not matter now how many ones you have. You can you can work out your square so easily even if you have got 11,111 square which can be a big number but you can work out so easily in a second because there are five ones you can put down one two three four five or three two one so i believe you enjoy your trick number one let's get back to the trick number two guys if you don't multiply any number with 11 guys it is very very easy let us say if you're gonna do like 32 times 11 or 58 times 11 in just like fraction guys you can you can do it you know fraction of second so let us say if you're doing 32 multiply by 11 what you're going to do is put down three on the left hand side and two on the right hand side and in the middle you can do like three plus two five and you're done 352 is your answer if your second question is 58 multiply by 11 here you've got to take care of a little bit of a thing is guys so you put down your five the left hand side you can put on your eight on the right hand side whenever you're finding your middle number it's coming five plus eight thirty so whenever it comes like a two digit number 13 so that one you got to just take it as a carry on five so that will become five plus one which is six and then three eight so 58 times 11 is going to be six three eight again i'm repeating what you're going to do is five on the left hand side eight on the right hand side you're going to do five plus eight which is 13 but whenever it comes two digit one can go as a carry on five and six thirty eight is your answer now guys can we do that with a three digit number? It can be really cool, isn't it? Like let's say three, four, five, 345, multiply by 11. You can do that in a second, guys. So again, the same thing. Three on the left-hand side, five on the right-hand side. You can look at the two digit on the right. So four and five. You can add them. Four plus five. So nine. That will be my second digit from the right. I can do three plus four, which is seven, which will be my second digit from the left. So when there is a three digit by 11 that's how you can do it and again if you're gonna carry you can pass it to the next number as well so that was our trick number two now guys trick number three is really really cool so let us say anytime you're gonna make a square with a number ending with the five like let us say 35 times 35 what you can do is three then the next number is four you can multiply that three four is a 12 and at the end always five square which is 25 so one two two five if it is a 65 times 65 which is 65 square 6 and the next number is 7 6 7 ja, 42 and then always 25 because 5 square is 25 so 4 2 2 5 guys what is 95 times 95 what is 95 square so you can do 9 next number is 10 9 10 are 90 followed by 25 so 9 0 25 it also works if you do have a number like 74 times 76 here the condition is your first number must be the same and the second number addition must be 10 so here you can see like 7 and 7 is the same and 4 plus 6 makes 10 then it is, it is going to work in that case you can do the same thing like the number 7 the next number is 8 so you can multiply them like 7 8 uh, 56 and at the end you can multiply 4 6 uh, 24 so your answer is 56 24 one more uh, our question guys let us say 52 times 58 so what we can do 5 the next number is 6 5 6 uh, 30 and at the
the end to eight are 16. So my the answer is 3016. Now I'm going to ask you one question guys. 93 times 97. Come on quick 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 guys. 93 times 97. 9. Next number is 10. So 9 times 10 is 90. And 3 7 ja, 21. Here we go, guys. You master three tricks. Practice it, guys. Yeah, and you can make the best out of it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe so you can have more fun learning maths, guys. Thank you very much.